So he will attend to us. Give us some money, pocket money. Give us uh, blood of Jesus to carry to take to them. Then the follow the give following you, money uh, on Saturday. Sorry, early in the morning. Sorry. Sometimes by four. Yeah. Sorry, he, he used to give you blood of Jesus. Okay. How is that? How is that possible? The, okay, thank you. What we call blood of Jesus there was sachet of pure water that we manufactured in the church premises. Sachet of pure waters. We manufactured it in the, the we have you know in, in the church synagogue we have many departments. We have uh -huh. Christ workers, we have disciples, we have sanitation, we have coordinators. So some people were can you hear me? Yeah, go go ahead. Okay, some people were assigned to be producing that pure water, but we don't call it pure water, we call it blood of Jesus. <laughs> be okay. We call it blood of Jesus without anybody even pray on it or whatever. They will just manifest, we carry it. So, since it's from the church premises, it's blessed because we believe we believe that anything that comes from him is blessed, anything he pronounces is blessed. So, we take the blood of jesus to them give to them do this arrange those people that need to come to emergency those people that hey. the of god if their case is urgent that's why let me i don't know but one thing i noticed was that if you dare bring an issue or case of somebody that is poor his rot you will see his you if, will see his red eyes but if it's somebody if that you discover that is very rich Okay, okay. Said, I get it. I get it. I get it. If you if you bring the problem of somebody that is poor, he, will, he is not happy. Yes. And that is why I will not happy with you. But if it's somebody that is rich, that has money, that has name, then he will attend to you. Then he will make he will make how you will uh, fight him. And when you invite him, you are not the, you are not going to be the one to be. A coordinating me we handed over he we handed him over to another disciple that be coordinating uh, him since abizola is one of them that used to handle such cases so hmm. and the uh, former uh, two they were they were there so that was how we were doing it rotationally when so but uh, it got to a time you know in synagogue then no relationship even if you marry before you go there your marriage will be scattered. You know, I told you mm. that my wife died. My yeah. wife died in 19... Uh, my wife died in 1996. So, this time I was talking about... Uh, about was about 2007. 2006-7. So, he... I don't know that it's because of what people were saying outside that made him to do like that. He arranged some marriages. The first marriage he arranged then was that of a brother Austin. We call him Austin, who later become a prophet. They say Prophet Austin. He picked one usher and do their colorful wedding. Later again, they did that of Dave and Angie. Dave was uh, was uh, Dave is from uh, uh, United Kingdom. Angie was uh, from South Africa. He arranged their wedding. They did it colorfully. So we love it. We thought that the 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 the, 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 the grace has opened for all disciples now. Those people that don't have wife, those people that their wife died, maybe it's time for them to remarry. Those people that are right to marriage, to marry, maybe it's time for them to marry. We are just it between me and my friend that I make sure we make it a joke matter among us with that uh, Bragbenga. If uh, Papa, because we used to call TV Joshua Papa then, that if mm -hmm. Papa, you call him Papa or Daddy. So if Papa asks you to go and bring your wife, who you bring or you want him also to still choose his wife for you, we do use it as a joking matter between us. So I was not thinking that, ah, maybe it will still be my turn. Because when my wife died, and I went to him to tell him that, ah, sir, they say my wife died, you say, is that why you are downcast? Is that why you are thinking? Is that why you are not happy? Uh, share up. Maybe it's white woman that you will marry. Say maybe it is white woman that you will marry. You know, you know that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. I put it off. I put it behind me. 
So I thought maybe it's time for the fulfillment of what he promised. So I asked one, I was sent to Akure truly. I can't deny it. And I begin and I continue to say it. Even I said to the BBC when he interviewed me, I say it is true. It is true. I did it. I have fun with the lady that I want to marry. You know, it's temptation. I've been there 16 years. I don't touch women. I don't I don't have any affair with women. But the only, the only thing I noticed that I think Taba, I do have dream. When you I do have dream and see a beauty, if I see a beautiful woman in my dream, my body will move and I will discharge. And the following morning, when I tell him, you, sir, this is the kind of dream I had, oh, he will laugh. Say, don't worry. Say you will get over it. But I never, I never got I never get over it till I left there. I never at times three months in Taba, at times two months. So it was when I left that I discovered that all those things are what gives him power. Hmm. So I thought that the, 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 the way has opened for us to get married. So I had that woman. Hmm. And temptation from that day, truly, temptation came. And I met with her. I don't know how you got to know. He called me and I told him that Sir, it is true, but it's once. I'm very sorry. Say, I, he said, I don't need to tell you that you are going home today. That happened to be Saturday. I thought he was joking. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. So I went to prayer room because we have that church, that uh, auditorium, there are prayer rooms at the back of the altar there. At the back of that is altar. There are prayer rooms. We female and male prayer rooms, they are there. So I went to male prayer rooms at the back of his altar there. I was praying, praying, praying. Until when they were calling me, but I can't be, but I can't be, but I had and I went. So they called me, he summoned me to five-story building, his room. So I mm. met this, this wise man, Daniel, Lawa, and Swan. One of those people gathered. No way. That person is going home. So when I got there, they asked me this day. I said, yes, it's true. But I'm very sorry. He said, yeah. he said there's no anything, sorry. They just blah, blah. They talk, they talk. They say, I should go. Now, TV Josiana told me that, look, you are now empty. You are now empty. Then, those are the only two words. He did not say anything. He just allowed those disciples to judge, to do their judgment. He now said, you are now, those are just are the two words he uttered to me. Say, you are now empty. In me, I thought, ah, I said, ah, I am done. Maybe because of the fun I have with that woman, maybe the Holy Spirit in me has departed. That was mm. what my mind went to. So, mm. And now he said, go out there and say anything you will pay for it. Those are the two words he said to me. And he said, I should go. When I left, so I should go and pack my things. I went down and packed some things. I thought I would still come back. Because there is no how you will first of all live there that without having the mind to come back. Your mind cannot go off just like that. I thought I still I will still come back. So he now sent some disciples to me as usual, that they should come and tell me that uh, they will bring camera now. I should confess that he sent me on errand, but I went there to do another thing, to fornicate with another person, uh, to fornicate with a woman, to go beyond what he sent me, to do, to do this, to do that, that when I say that, uh, I should go, but I should be coming to the church. So, you know, say, they should give me some small amount of money to go and rent an apartment nearby so that I can be coming to the uh, church. When he, when he see me today, tomorrow, like one or two weeks, then he may say I should come back. And he has been doing like that to, to people, to disciples that left. I thought, well, it's my turn. I thought they brought it. The so what they asked me to say, I say it in order just to get to gain his favor. 
maybe we Able. pardon me and take me back. Yes, I said it. So I now left. Even my some my, some of my load I left it because I thought I will still come back, but it, it never happened. So I mm -hmm. left. If I go today, stay there, they will not decide. Maybe he has given instruction to all of them that they should not allow me to stay. So after coming like two weeks, I was not having a rest place or how to interact with people. You cannot talk to any disciple. You cannot even mingle with them. Those people that are trained, those people that I taught how to pray, how to do this, how to do that, they were now the one, they, 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 they suddenly become my enemy. I said, well, let me go to the mountain ask for forgiveness i just go out there to ask for forgiveness so that was my aim but when i now went to one mountain and in ocean state to pray seven days what god refused to me made me not to go back there not to even say i want to go and see him again so in my revelation i saw that that thing he said to me was that he has finished me he has used my glory finish okay he that was the meaning my of glory that was the meaning finished. of you and that was that, the meaning of you are now empty yes that you are now empty that was when they interpreted interpreted it to me that you are now empty that he said is that you have nothing left you have nothing good in you again that even if i want to go there it will not take me back i better re-strategize and reconcile with God and pick my life afresh. So, I, that was how I did not go there. Then, he said, if you go out there and say anything, we pray for it. Maybe if you can get him, get out on this or that. So, the first day he called me, when I, I see, I didn't have a number. I just say hello. When he say hello, Baba Kewi, I say, who is this? He say, Ah, network. Hello, can you hear me? Network is bad. Oops. It was there 24 7. The light okay. never quenched, the fire never quenched. Sorry, sorry. The your, Honest, your voice okay. and your video uh, your voice and your video went off. We didn't hear you from uh, from that point where Sister Bisola called you. That was where we had last. Okay. Okay, thank you. I said when she called yeah. me fell off from my hand because I thought she had died or something oh, okay. serious had happened to her because of the kind of assignment I have done been given to do on them herself and the uh, agomo so I say mm. even their own case was so special because they church that they call uh, uh, deception of the ladies so that made me now to do their own extraordinarily pray on them extra even i fasted nine days nine days dry fasting just to make it work so that was when he called me the first day the phone dropped uh, dropped from my hand but i saw more courage and pick it again you know say i now told her that uh, see you see the revelation i had they will see 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 i say if she told me that i would i couldn't have believed that thank god that i myself have seen it I say, Sister Bisola, I'm ready to confess my sin because all those things I did then in the synagogue, I have been told that they are they are sin against God and against humanity. Okay. That those people I, I, who I, I pitch to... their picture, those people who I bury their picture, those people who I put their picture inside the uh, inside the life. Are you there? That I want to convert if it's if it is that way. Well, if I confess, my hand my heart will be cleared okay you, you know you know I, I i was going to ask you whether whether you knew that those things you were doing that time was witchcraft against those people now now it is clearer so it was after you came out that you now realized that it, you were actually working for yes. the devil not for god yes thank you it was after i came out it was after i came out that i know that all those things i did was against their against their destiny against their against their head against their future against their peace against their comfort it's against god and against humanity it's a, it's a, it's a it was a very terrible sin i say i want to confess please give me do you have any studio or any platform that i can go say okay i should not worry he will send a number to me that that person will call me so 
truly she sent it but do you know that the night the i told the person that okay well, i will come he said okay well, they were arranged for me they were in studio for me in the Kaja, that this is that night i received an arrow here in my chest let me let, I, will, I will i will pull off my clothes and show you the star of that arrow then i will tell you how i how i how i overcome see see this car here this is the scar this is the scar of the arrow see it. Uh, so uh, okay. immediately immediately that day he told me that day i i don't know where i was if was not it in your God, dream was it in your I dream or physical forever not in, was it in your dream or physical in the physical not in the dream it's in the physical and uh, it's twice not only one is at my back too after that after this one i not run the, when the day break it was as if i will die before they break but immediately the day uh, uh, for if for in Ogo state there is a mountain i mean yeah. there is a moon there they call it uh, I, I don't not to, not to advertise so i went there there was two river two streams that were flowing they call one the uh, uh, mercy stream and the other one power uh, holy ghost uh, power stream so it was that there is a place where men used to bath i now use the water there the spirit told me that i should like naman in the bible who went in those into the pool of Bethsaida several times and it was placed so my spirit said i should stay on in staying there and enter several times so that was what i did be, before i started having relief that was how i uh, overcome this one later again i was looking for the number i never called the man i never called him but i was looking searching my books where i did because i didn't save it i didn't save the number i was searching my book where i will make it either die or second time again i received another arrow it was out my back here the scar was is still there till today the scar like the other one too i say well mm. if i don't stop this man may kill me through through and if eventually kill know how know how so i look I, I i lay low i did not call sister Bissola, i did not call anybody i just off my phone change my sim change everything i say if i if i say have that sim if you call me if you call me i may say this i may say that that was how i was going up and down all family deserted me no friend nobody will nobody want to make friend with me nobody want to talk to me i was just like an outcast to everybody even my family nobody want to help nobody want to give me a die nobody want to give me work where i went was so that was how i went to a mountain to go and pray stay there pray 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 to me i started having just relief little by little before God now directed me to where I am today. So it has been, it is on that, it is on the mountain where they show me that even all the disciples, all the disciples, excluding himself, the wife and the children, and his own biological children that will not be affected. Because I forgot to I, I forgot to include this. In one of the in one of the prayer huts, in one of the prayer huts, there was a place where. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. There was a prayer hut where we pour all the disciples' picture, all the disciples' all picture, even the all all of them, both white, both black, all of us, including my own, including my son, including on the floor. And what we do is you wear your garment, you kneel down, you kneel down, or you kneel down on the pictures. You started using your knee to walk on it. You pray, you be praying, not for the not for the pictures, so not for them, but for TB Joshua alone. It was on the Monday they told me that you don't you know that all those pictures you saw, he is using their glory. That is why he you not to pray for anybody else except him. 
So as you are marching on their pictures, as you are, my own picture was there. But I thought he only brought it for protection. It was when I left it that I knew the meaning. So all those pictures you pray on, they, he has tapped their glory or let their glory use them. They never know anything except those people he was able to initiate directly. And thank God, I remember one thing he told us, he saw something on the board, like umbrella, like him holding umbrella, that he is the one that have that umbrella, and he is the only one that can connect us direct. So it was when I went out to the mountain that I was told that except those he initiates direct by himself that we survive it that we make it in the world mm. but except those initi initiated by himself and uh, can that be linked to uh, yeah can that be linked to some of his um former disciples now who are some of his wise men now who are who are carrying out the same thing that he was doing yes that is what is happening that is what uh, that is exactly what is happening that they are they he, we, those people that he initiated directly they will be like him but they will make it in this world but not in heaven that i hmm. should i should try as much as possible to reconcile with my creator because i have deserted him so that was how i started my journey thank you very much sir Woo! Jesus is Lord. Ah, Jesus is Lord. True. This is pure witchcraft. What you just explained from the beginning of this conversation, Nati, this point, that was pure witchcraft. No, I know. It was later I knew. I thought I was satisfying my mentor. I anytime I anytime I see him walking, I say I want to be like him. That was what brought me. That was what made me went to him and said, I want to go and fast. Because I want to be like you. I want to be like him. Then, then. I want to do what he's doing. And he will be telling us that until our body is dead to sin, that we cannot do what he's doing. I don't know that he's just a wolf in the sheep clothing, as the Bible put it. I don't know that he's a wolf in, uh, in the sheep clothing. In sheep clothing. So, yes. Then I want to be like him. I want to act like him. I want to do all things. That was what made me to go to him and say, I want to fast and pray. I thought it's the real power of God, not knowing that is bewitching people. So that's well, my story. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I, at the end, we thank God that you are you are alive. You are you are very much alive and you escaped. If, if, even though that uh, what, what brought you out was what... We, you know, is an inexplicable, explicable experience. But God has a way of doing His things. Yes. So, yes. for all the yes. years you spent there, all the years you wasted there, He didn't even, as He was sending you out, He just sent you out like that, empty like that, with just the small money that just He like, gave you. Just like that, he except a, a, a small money. Say, I should just uh, rent an apartment, a house for myself, and be coming from there to the church. That's all. That's all. Well. It is well. Thank God um, you are alive to tell your story. Now, that's your, your daughter that your wife gave birth to before she died. How about the child? Yes. Is, is she still a, is, she's have you, alive? Okay. She, she's so alive. The, we we, we the, later, later when I when I the, 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 the daughter was brought up by my mother. Okay. She was brought up by my mother, but now she's fine. She she's in Lagos. Oh, okay, so the two of you have you have a daughter and a, a father uh, relationship, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Later, so, well, after after I left church, after I left okay. synagogue, but, uh, after but I then left since synagogue. you came out, have you ha, how how many years ago was this since you left? How many years ago? Two thousand and nine, December. Okay, you left. You left two thousand and nine. Yeah, that's approximately yes. 15, 15 years ago now. Yes, yes. Uh, almost 15 years ago. Uh, okay, so now you uh, you have a family of your own now, uh, I believe. Yes, by God's grace. 
by this I have family now. Thank God, though. Thank God for your deliverance. Thank God for uh, your I deliverance. I married and I have kids. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank, thank God. God. Thank God. Thank God. Mm. Uh, in fact, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say because I, I think uh, I, I think that this is apart from the BBC interview. I think this, this is the first time you are doing this. Your uh, your this your okay. story in English. Is this this is the first time you are doing it in English? Um, uh, in, we just uh, sister Bisola or uh, brother just okay. uh, just okay. interaction. Okay. Not full details like ah, this. Thank you. you hey, not full details. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I remember I saw your, I saw your, your, I saw your story on. A, was it Achabet? I don't know if it was Achabet TV that I interviewed you sometimes yes. ago in Yoruba. Yeah. Yes, it was the one that first interviewed me, and it's and since then, no, except that uh, BBC. It's Achabet that first interviewed okay. me. Ba at lagos mm. okay god bless you sir well anyway we have come to yes, the sir. end of this story uh we know that there are those of you still out there who will be saying nonsense oh sorry for my language but there is no other way i can i can <laughs> define some persons now you see that this man gave you dates gave you instances and even mentioned names of of persons i'm sure that some of them are still alive today but then um let, it's let, not let, everybody did not believe sorry, sir. let me surprise you sir he said anybody okay. anybody go, go and do the friday that early rabbi i said we were prayer warrior together see yeah. that time i left 2009 till i left that synagogue the lady was mad he's a mad person now i don't even know maybe she could have died or she's still alive but she was a complete mad lady the lady that came in there, he came to, she came to Sinova for the first time when she get, get admission to university. She only came for blessing that day. She was tied down to be praying to, to there. Till 2009 that I left Sinova, the lady was mad, complete mad, not, not, a, not a little, little one. The person that uh -huh. was naked with that, She's naked. She will put one cloth for there for 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 months, for years without changing that one cloth with her. She's com she was complete mad. Eh? Not to call, mm. not to talk of that only also that is also mad. So oh, uh, many of what of, uh, have died. Uh, you mean Holy Gabriel is also mad? Yes, complete mad. The, same, the person that came the from the person ah. He was mad before I left there. He was mad. The person that came from United States, from Texas, he showed he, when we were when we were together. He showed me the pictures he took with Oyibo there. She, he said he went to university. Uh, I mean, he went to US with a scholarship. A scholarship that took him there. He came home. I forgot what the, the problem. He said that he brought him home. That was when he came to Sinawa to search for solution, and he was asked to stay there. And before, before I left there, he was completely mad. <laughs> so, so many of many of them, I, I can't I can't recollect people that have died there in the course of staying there. Many. So, thank God, <laughs> thank God for I thank your life. God. I thank God for thank giving God for me. Your life. Uh, yes, it's mercy of God. It's mercy of God that see me through. It's mercy of God that see me through. Thank you so I, much, sir. God bless you. I don't know what else to say. Now, uh, the Bible says, let he that has an ear, let he, he that has an ear hear what the Spirit yes. is saying to the church. Now, everything that, that has been, been been said here, you are your liberty to believe or to disbelieve. But whichever Thank decision you. you take, know it that the brother Akewi has done his best to educate you and to enlighten you. Now, whatever you want to believe, believe and do with your life how it pleases you. But at the end of the day, we all shall appear before the judgment seat of Christ to give account of what we have done. Okay. Listen, if you are yes. going to a place where the devil is the Lord there, but they just put the picture and the images of Christ. See, you are serving Satan. It's not God you are serving. 
take it or leave yes. it. But then at the, at the end of the day, you are responsible for the actions you have taken about your life and destiny. God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. Um, God thank bless you. you. Thank God for, for keeping your life. Thank God for, for, for keeping you alive. We will uh, we'll have more, more time together. God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you now very for, much, sir. God bless you. Bless, bless you too, sir. So here we come to an end, the end of the program. Uh, see you in the next video. I'd like to beg you, if you care to share, I want to ask you to share this video to deliver many. This thing you see is still going on. It's still going on. It is still going on and happening. The experiences he has just outlined is still going on because you cannot sustain, you know, the authors of Satan without continuation. All right? So share and like the video. Put your comment in the comment section. For those of you that will come to at, uh, you know, attack and abuse us, congratulations. God bless you. In the next video, I'll be seeing you. From me to you, shalom.